My name's Marissa. I'm 18. I go to RCC. Hi, I'm ODM. I'm 21. Who <laughs> you are? Um, okay. <laughs> I will. I'm basically like trying to find my own road in life. You know, like figure out what I want to do. Okay. So right now I'm just going to school, trying to get finish off my diploma and continue on to college. So I was wondering, what were you doing like at my age? At your age, you're 18. Actually, I was touring. I was touring with my group. Uh, I was in a rap group called like, The Shade of Brown. Have you heard of that group? Yeah. So, um, straight out of high school, I uh, got a record deal at 17. And, uh, you know, we started uh, making records. And, yeah, I mean, right out of high school, I was touring at your age. And I was blessed enough to have a record deal at, at such a young age. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, me and my partners. And, um, you know, so I was. I was an artist. I, you know, that was one of my dreams was to become an artist, a, a rapper, or slash producer, or, and we, now I'm even DJing. But um, yeah, that went on for about a good ten years. So growing up, you always wanted to be like into the music, like a rapper, or DJ. Yeah, I mean, music was always a part of my life as it is. I think the world. I mean, music makes the world go round. You know, when you're sad, when you're happy, when you're, you know, <laughs> anxious. I mean. A lot of times we turn to radio, you know, we turn to music as our outlet. And I think, you know, 8 to 80, I mean, I think it works for everybody. So music has always shared an influence on me. Um, uh, I wanted to be a pro baller when I was younger, though, like in junior high. And then um, my grades got kind of bad, so that kind of went out the window. Um, only because uh, I got involved with, you know, Learning how to rap and, and whatnot, and yeah. <laughs> rapping at lunch benches with, with my other, you know peers and stuff. So I kind of stirred away a little from the education element, which um, is kind of unfortunate because uh, you always got to have that that something to fall back on. You know, I wasn't um, um, able to finish high school because of my early touring. Mm -hmm. I had independent studies, I had homeschooling and whatnot. But uh, I was lucky, though, because my career panned out for me so well that this is what I knew and this is what I wanted to do. But it doesn't happen like that for everybody else. You, you know, you have a chance to, you right now, I mean, you can decide your, what, what you want your future to be with your career. But like, what is it that you, you enjoy doing? Is it music? Do you love music? Well, I mean, I like music, but I'm more into, like, helping people, like, like being a... Pediatrician or something. Okay, so, so that's yeah. something you want, might want to get into. Yeah. Okay, well, um, see, I'm always, I'm in interview mode, now I'm interviewing <laughs> her. But I'm just shedding light on what, what it's like, I'm one of the few that got lucky at the age yeah. of 18, is what I'm saying. So do you regret, like, not finishing school? Yes. Or you, you do? Yes. And someday, I plan to finish it because, you know, I may have children of my own someday, and I think it's important as a leader. To, of a you know of a household at least or be a father to say hey, yeah I did it you know you can too yeah. well <laughs> I'm so nervous <laughs> me too <laughs> so if you have any advice for like young people what would it be um well well how young <laughs> like my age or like when teenagers trying to, yeah trying to figure out what they want to do you know what just find something that, that, that interests you. Find something that you wake up, you know, you can do in the morning, afternoon, nights, no matter what. Something that, a passion. And let your passion, uh, along with hard work behind it, invest that time into to what your passion is. If, if it's being a, an artist or a producer, a graphic designer, helping people. What are you going to do to that next step? Focus in on your career because there's a lot of distractions out there that can distract you from staying on that path of what it is you want to be or you go out for. And that could be friends, that could be uh, so-called friends, that could be you know acquaintances, um, could be a boyfriend, it could be um, you know it could be even family sometimes that holds you back. But uh, I think just being around, sur surrounding yourself with people that are positive people, that are positive influence on you, and, and um, 
they're going to help you get, and they're going to encourage you, you know, and just be strong and, and just pray every day. Okay, well, thank you. <laughs> Co? Yeah. What else? Um, you want to know about my job, like nothing that I do what? now? Oh, Dang! What do you do now? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's not important. It's about you, though. And, and, and this is what thing I, I want to keep. Is it still rolling? Mm -hmm. We have this thing that I'm working with right now with the Avila Brothers. Okay? They're local producers from the uh, Inland Empire. They produce uh, Grammy Award winning producers for Usher, Janet Jackson. Uh, they've worked with numerous uh, acts, Lady Gaga. And they're right out of here. And you know, they came straight out of Rialto. I myself, I came straight out of Riverside. You know, we have talent out here in the Inland Empire. So what we're doing is we're putting together, um, uh, they designed a site, website for, for younger uh, people to go to called The Young Creator. And it's called theyoungcreator.com. I'd like for you to check it out if you get a chance to and, and you know, see what they have to, what they have going on. And what that is, is it's, it's basically a, a site to where they and I myself and we just encourage kids to, you know, there's there's other paths other than just being on the street. Some people come from broken homes, you know. We have a lot of at-risk uh, youth uh, teenagers that, that we want to reach out to. You know what I mean? And, and some people don't, you know, uh, get that luxury of uh, or pleasure of having both parents in their life. You know what I'm saying? To to really have that um, that, that that push out there. So they they revert to their friends or their, again their so-called friends. But nah, man, there's other, there's other avenues out there. Um, the youngcreator.com, we, we like to talk to, uh, you know, to, to some of the teenagers out there and let them know, man, there's, there's like I said, a different light. If maybe they're a musician, this might be an outlet for them. Uh, a lot of people don't know where to get started as far as being a musician or a, a rapper or a singer. They don't know where to go. They just have the talent. We're trying to give back to the youth as far as how to educate them and what a contract is. You know, when I was 16 and I signed my first deal, I wasn't really, I really didn't know what I was signing. I was a kid, you know what I mean? Like, contract, what's that? Like, but I just wanted to get in there and do my thing. You know, and, and this this kind of, um, this is a this is a platform for them to go to and they can log on, theyoungcreator.com, and I'm just pushing this because this is what I'm doing right now, aside of the radio thing and the DJing thing as well. So I'm actually glad you came out today so I can talk to you about it. Um, so what else? Um, that's it, I guess. Okay. So what school do you go to? you go to RCC? Yeah. I'm in a program there called Gateway to College. Because, boy, I'm to get my high school diploma. Okay. What's, what is the Gateway? What is that? It's where you like you go and you get high school and college credits. So you take college classes, but you're getting high school credits and college credits. Right. Yeah. Okay. How's it going for you? Good. Better now. Yeah. Yeah. Now. In high school. Well, in high school, I was messing up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hanging with the wrong crowd. Yeah. Yeah. You got to make that change. It's got to come with them. You got to want to do it. And I think that uh, you know. I think yeah, I see a, a positive, uh, you know, turnout for you. I mean, you came here today. It was your first step, right? If there's any way I can help you out, let me know. Uh, I'll do the best I can. Okay? Mm -hmm. Cool. Is that it? Um, Two yeah. questions? <laughs> well, you said a lot. And <laughs> yeah, he, just summarized, he summarized it. Huh? He summarized it. I, yeah. I just, yeah. That's what I do. Some people say I talk too much. <laughs> Less is more. Remember that, because sometimes I'll say I too wonder much. who you take down here. <laughs> my mom, my grandma. <laughs> uh, okay. Are you all set? Yeah.